It's not what you did, son, that angers me, son. It's who you did it to. Who? The nobody? That nobody is John Boy. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the John Wick Minute Podcast, the show where we analyze, scrutinize, and celebrate John Wick one minute at a time. I'm Samuel. I am Seth. And I'm Steven. And uh, today, we're going to be talking about minute number nine. Minute nine begins with uh, John letting the puppy out of its kennel, and it ends with John waking up to a puppy in his face. And it (laughs) ends with another change in the color grading. It's back to gray. It is. Interestingly enough. Foreshadowing. A mood change. Um, So as we previously said, yes, uh, Daisy is the is the actually they don't say the puppy's name is daisy do they yes they, they do. just he, show no no, no. He, hey, has it. A pendant. he reads it yeah it has a pendant and he says daisy oh it says daisy on the pendant i thought it was oh, just it a daisy flower it. he definitely calls it he daisy, says though it. because it has a daisy okay. on it. yeah yeah okay yeah. okay so the puppy's name is daisy yeah um and he takes it in the bedroom and it's like laying on the bed and he says hey instantly like, really trained. Casually to the puppy. Yes. Instantly trained yes that was puppy. one of my notes like no puppy this age is that well trained it doesn't need to go out in the middle of the night. Doesn't pee on the floor in the middle of the night. Doesn't you know? Keep, keep Wine and howl. Yeah. We, when yeah. you mail order puppies before you die, you there's a little box that says "Please pre-train this puppy." Very well, very quickly. <laughs> exactly. It's like check mark. Is this a gift for a friend? Would you like to include a note? Would you like to include training? Would you like? <laughs> yes, or else my husband will shoot it. <laughs> um. Could have saved himself a lot of heartache if he did. Right. This, but then we wouldn't have a movie. And a lot of n- <laughs> broken d- bones. And... It's true. Um, <clears throat> so he he says hey to the dog mm-hmm. when he sees it on the bed. Yeah. And we start this trend of him just talking to the dog like it's oh. a human. Um, is that healthy behavior? I don't know. Would a therapist recommend that for someone who lost a loved one? I think talking to your dog so with their animals anyway. So right. people generally, but talk normally, to their animals, right? Normally, if you talk to your animal, it's usually in a voice or you know, like, "Hey, buddy, come here." You know, you're not like, "Hey, <laughs> I'll, well, we'll get so your food things, later." That's we'll two things. One, later. that's probably beyond Keanu Reeves's dynamic abilities in dialogue. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, two, like. I don't know about you guys. I would totally do that. Like, if you had spent, like, time talking to another human being normal, and now that mm. person's no longer there, like, the next object is, like, Tom Hanks talks to his volleyball. That's, That's probably true. not healthy, but... That's true. <laughs> I mean, a puppy's at least semi-understandable. Yeah. Um, I think he does surprising. Like, that's pretty normal. Yeah. Okay. I mean, he does, but to Steven's point, it's not like Gucci goo kind of. Well, talking. it's John like, Wick. Yeah. He's not right. a Gucci goo kind of guy. <laughs> he doesn't uh, strike me as title. the cuddly. Type. There's the episode title. <laughs> <laughs> a Gucci goo kind of guy. <laughs> How do you spell Gucci goo? <laughs> That's somebody else's job. It's about exactly. my pay grade. Um, uh, oh man, I'll figure it out. <laughs> so here's the thing. So he's an assassin, right? And we understand he's got a little bit of rust. Oh, and we know this answer. I think we talked about this last last week somewhere. Wait, like we don't know time he's frame. an assassin yet. Hold on. Um. Well, I mean, you do because the trailers for crying out loud, right? Like this is not a mystery. Spoilers for um, the but not for me. <laughs> it's literally in the John Wick one uh-huh, trailer. Okay. So right. I don't know what to tell you. Um, We know that this has been a while. He's been out of the criminal on the road for a long, quite a while. Because in the letter, she says um, something to the effect of this has been a long journey for us or it's been a long time coming or something like that. Like, mm. So 
in the letter, she indicates that this has been a long time that they've dealt with. We don't know how long they were together before the health thing, right? But we know the health thing was a long battle. So mm -hmm. anyway, he's had this long-term thing. So so we know he's rusty, right? But the, so you still got those reflexes. And a pup jumps up on top of the bed and wakes you up. How does that not like a pillow from a gun from behind the pillow? Boondock Saints moment. Like, oh my I don't... gosh. Because he, he is That's that good same. at his self control. Or at the very least, his bump goes flying across the room. I mean, like, I mean, he's just like, but it startles him because he's like, uh, I'm up, I'm up. It's like, well, wait, but I skip ahead. Well, sorry, you're going to say. I feel like he probably hears the puppy first. So it's not that he is jump startled that the puppy's waking him up. It's that he's maybe just kind of like, I don't, quick. I don't know. I yeah, don't know. So let's jump ahead to another part of the movie where he is woken up from his sleep by a maybe friend. Um, yeah, maybe friend. He does yeah. kind of jolt up and assess his surroundings first. He doesn't, you know, just like react. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, I don't know. Maybe he's so just got a lot of self-control. The self-control required to be an assassin of John Wick's caliber mm -hmm. means I there guess, are times but... when you don't pull the trigger and there are times you do. Okay, but let's face it. There's at least twice where he would have died <laughs> if it were for somebody else. So I'm just saying maybe a at little least? quicker on the reflexes <laughs> would it be helpful. Okay, I, I'm going to say this too. This carries through all four movies. In speaking of reflexes, he tends to be fairly good at blocking. He's really not the strongest striker when it comes to fighting. He doesn't yeah. throw a lot of punches. Mm -hmm, uh, he's he's kind of, I mean, his jujitsu game is on point. But he'd be better, a more well-rounded assassin if he would learn to throw a few punches. Just saying. Well, I've noticed this in the second and the third movie, not so much in the first movie, where there's an uh, adapting phase mm -hmm. that he goes through whenever he fights a new person villain they do it more in the set because there's a lot more one-on-one -on -one with yeah. more like mini mini bosses not just nameless henchmen kind of thing this is nameless henchmen just waste them until the end where it's just an old guy so that's the climax <laughs> um <laughs> thanks to uh was it honest trailers that pointed that out or uh pitch meeting one pitch of those meeting yeah pointed out. <laughs> like <laughs> these two old guys <laughs> this is okay um but he so the let's see library scene that's parabellum i think yeah, or whatever but like every new villain he fights kind of that's a mini boss right mm -hmm. there's like he kind of is losing a bit in the beginning and then he adapts to their style yeah. basically and then he comes you know yeah then that continues into the fourth uh, <clears throat> like mini boss type thing for sure which i think is actually really creative it's not mm -hmm. just like the typical okay heroes getting bludgeoned hero rises from the ashes and bust no there's like he part of his massive skill is um learning their style as he's fighting mm -hmm. them and then adapts his method to win so I think that's why my favorite action scene of the whole series. Yeah, I'm going to spoil it now. Explain now. But in the third movie, in the bank, because now these guys are like bulletproof oh, and he's got to fight a whole bunch so of good. them. It's my favorite action scene in all of them because he has to adapt to these guys and he's still doing the same things. He's like twice in the chest, once in the head and it's not working. And then yeah. he has to like find a way to get his gun in a weak point. And right. it's just, I love that right. scene. That scene is awesome. Yeah, that's my favorite one. Is, is what makes him and i think that's just interesting storytelling it's not just the same old fight stuff over and over and over again like he's constantly it's, changing we've called it a bank a few times but isn't it just the lobby it's the continental, continental. It's, yeah, yeah we've called I, it a bank a few times the reason bad. it looks like a bank though because you've got like the teller looking mm -hmm. window things like it does that's why i, keep I am that biting part. my tongue right now you two need to go watch john wick four all of that being said uh <laughs> rip lance um, oh, Lance Reddick. Uh, because yes. he's an awesome part of that Continental Hotel lobby fight. He's, yeah, yeah, yeah. he's one of my favorite characters of the whole, like, I think he's well, one of everyone's series. favorite characters. Yeah. He's, he well, does to be so fair, well. there aren't a lot of characters, but fair enough. He's, he's... But he's, you, we'll Seth, you played the it. epitome of classy. And yeah. yes, Destiny you know 2. What? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that's all the further I'll go because he'll come up later. So then we'll yeah. talk about him. But yeah, we'll talk about him. But yes, definitely rest in peace, Lance Reddick. He, like, just last week, right? Was when yeah, he passed. Yeah, so literally before, right, four just before him. the movie came out. 
just yeah. before. Yeah. So, so. Um, set it for a minute. What are we doing that? Yeah. What, uh, have yeah. this end? It ends with the puppy waking him up. Yep. Okay. Cool. That's all I got. Okay. Uh, That's all I got. All right, Steven. Take us home. Uh, oh, yeah, it's me again. Um, check out moviesbyminutes.com. There we go. Let's throw a quick plug in there. Moviesbyminutes.com. If you ha- like a movie a lot, it's probably already been done minute by minute form, uh, and you can listen to it there. Or if not, uh, if it hasn't been done, then you have to do it yourself. It's just take it upon yourself. Find a friend, get a mic, get recording. Um, so there you go. Moviesbyminutes.com. And then check us out on the YouTubes and the podcasting platforms. Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify. Um, and I think that's it at the moment. But All yeah. under John uh, Wick Minute. John Wick Minute. Oh, yes. Let me throw one more thing out there. Uh, there was a John Wick Minute before us. Um, <gasps> but it what? was... Yeah, it was only like 14 episodes, though, and then he's been in hiatus since 2019. So I didn't feel bad about picking up. Um, it's like four years ago, three years ago. Yeah, four years so if ago. you, lo- if you look up John Wick Minute, you'll probably find another guy. We're the one where it's our three faces <laughs> um, Lovely in front of a car. cartoonish faces yeah. that he just... Steven drew. Yeah, well traced. That's fine. Whatever. It doesn't matter. <laughs> all right. Um, but yeah, we're on all those platforms. Check us out. And then uh, that should be it. So we will see you next time on the The John John Wick Wick Minute. So keep your head on your shoulders Now we ain't out here moving rocks We out here moving boulders Now we ain't getting postal rides We out here making posters And we ain't got nothing to hide We move forward like soldiers